Hello, everybody. We are here tonight. It is Tuesday. This is our first Tuesday of the month. So we are here at six o'clock Alaska time, which is nine o'clock for all my lower 48ers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so um, I just want to remind you guys, and I know I say this all the time, but I'm here for you every week. Hop on, ask questions. It can be about your health journey. It can be about your business, whatever it is. Come and brainstorm with me. Um, but I want to be here. I want to be here and be available and, and just be able to, yeah, just chat with you guys. And um, I learn so much. I learn so much when I brainstorm with you or when you ask me questions. And I don't know the answer to everything. You guys know that. And I have to go and find it out or figure it out and work through it. So I appreciate you guys. I appreciate it when you ask questions and you hop on and um, it's helpful. It's helpful to me. And so I am not here every week saying, come ask me questions because I have all the answers. I'm here every week because I love learning from you guys and learning with you guys. So, okay. The only thing, this is going to be a pretty short um, Zoom as long as I don't ramble on. The only thing I really want to talk to you guys about is what we did on Sunday. Um, Mitzi and Andrea met me at a little coffee shop in Eagle River, Alaska, and we went through our list. And this has been, like, I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm going to be honest about a lot tonight. So the list is hard. I, I am not good at being organized. I'm learning a lot about myself and how bad I am about being organized. And um, so I just wanted to share a couple of ways of how I'm doing things and how I'm kind of muddling my way through of keeping myself organized and um, doing the work and doing the work. So, mm. by the way, I am trying out a new tea from Murchies and it's the library blend and it's phenomenal. So I thought I'd share that with you. I was um, waiting for you to tell me what you were drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who's drinking. Hold on just a second, mommy's on the Zoom. Oh, okay, go ahead. Um, okay, so I have this notebook and I have a bunch of notes in the beginning part of it, but the majority of it was free, so I've made this my list. And this is what my list looks like. So I have names over here, and I have phases over here. When you are working on someone, okay, okay, okay. So when you're working, when you have a new person or anybody, Anyone you're talking to, it should be in one of four phases. You're either going to be in what I do is BR, which is building relationship. This is where you're not talking about plexus. This is where you're getting to know the person and you're asking questions and you're finding things in common and you're just building the relationship. So it's during this phase that you're getting to know someone and you're learning more about them and you're looking to see if there is a need in their life that plexus could help with. So they are BR. That's my, my abbreviation for them. The next phase is introduce plexus. So I see, and in parentheses, I see a need to share. Um, I get permission to share a testimony or a video. Um, I love the send, share, invite um, system that we have now, but I always put a P in front of it because I like to ask permission first. I'm not just going to go, oh, you posted about migraines. Look, here's a testimony about migraines. You need to read this because that's way too much in, in people's face. So I like to, you know, BR, get to know them a little bit, build the relationship, then ask permission. Hey, I noticed like two weeks ago you posted about migraines. Is that something that you struggle with on a regular basis? Let them talk, let them talk. How long have you been dealing with it? Let them talk, let them talk. You get them monthly, let them talk. Then say, have you ever considered um, supplements? So boom, that's the introduction. So they're at INT. So when the conversation gets to a point where you're like, I think Plexus could be a good fit for them, you introduce it. Then you're at FP, which is follow-up, because um, I didn't want to use FU. Um, so I did FP. <laughs> <laughs> um, so FP is you're going to ask questions. You're going to lean in. Okay. I'm going to be totally upfront with you. The leaning in and the following up is the hardest part because you get to a point. Okay. I've introduced Plexus. They know what I do. The cat's out of the bag. Okay. This is what I do. Um, and it can feel that way. And I'm working really hard on myself to change my mindset. Guys, I struggle almost every single day going, I'm just a network marketer. I'm just a network marketer. And people look at me like that and I'm like, nope, 
this is a perspective thing, even if I didn't make another dime off of what I'm doing, I'd still be sharing with people because this is life changing. So I am coming from a place of love and sharing. I just sent, I just sent um, Shoshana's testimony to someone who has not responded. She sees all of my messages. Um, she responded to me two years ago and we had a conversation. And ever since then, she has not responded to me. And she has Lyme disease, Lyme's disease. And Shoshana came out with her testimony. And I said, I said, Carol, uh, I think about you and your boys uh, pretty often, and I feel like I've done something to offend you. I really hope that's not the case. That was not my intention. I said, I'm going to go ahead and risk this because I truly, truly care. I just thought I would share this video with you. That's what I said. I sent the video. have no idea if she'll ever respond. Um, and to be honest, and I hope I get the chance to tell her, I don't care if she even orders from me. She's got Lyme's disease. And I hope she gets on this product, whether she has an aunt, a cousin, a mother, whatever, that's selling this, get on it. Like that's, that's my heart. Um, so anyway, follow up and leaning in. The leaning in is, um, I, I found, I had two encounters over the weekend that I realized I was not leaning in well. Um, I kind of, there was like some awkward pauses. I'm kind of bad with awkward pauses in conversations. <laughs> I feel like I have to fill it or something. And so I just kind of start talking instead of, I should have asked questions. So think of leaning in as asking questions. Um, and if you don't, you know, uh, can you tell me a little bit more about that? Um, how long have you been dealing with this? Um, is this something relatively new in your life? Uh, you know, Things like that, leaning in to let them tell you a little bit more and let them expand a little bit more before you go into what your product does, what our product does. Um, so leaning in is, is huge. And um, so as they lean in, what that does is that helps you get more information and it helps you know what else you can send and what else you can share with them, testimonies, videos, and that kind of thing. So that's FP, follow up. And then close. When you get to the point that they're like, okay, I'm, I'm interested in this. This is really interesting. Can I have more information? Um, you know, what does it cost? That kind of thing. You're moving into the close. So they're, the, they're in the close phase. Um, unfortunately, people can stay in the close phase for longer than we want them to. Because <laughs> um, you're just, you're working through. You're working through talking to them about um, pricing and how they can do this and what some of the options are. And it's hard not to be confusing. And so you're wanting to break it down as simply as possible. I love, um, if, you, if you're at the top of Team Joy Passion and you'll see the four boxes with the, um, with the slim and it's all kinds of different, there is some wording in there. I believe it's under share. And there's some wording in there for sharing the pricing. And I love it. It is extremely simple and it's easy to use. And it's like, look, it's, it's $139.95 for, you know, for this or for the first month. And it's this, it's $119.95 after that. And um, if you get the triplex. And then, you know, depending on what it is, just give people solid numbers. Don't, it, that's so much easier than saying, well, there's a $39.95 membership fee and there's this and then there's this and then there's this. Just give them solid numbers. And you can put in parentheses, this includes the membership fee, that's why it's more, then it gives you wholesale pricing, this is what it'll be after that. Shipping is about $9 for your first order, $6 after that, ships to your door in three to five business days. So making things really simple for them to be able to see, okay, bottom line, I'll be spending this. So um, trying to simplify that as much as possible. So people can stay in the close, close phase for a while and just work working through that and, um, and another thing, you know, when it comes to a point, sometimes I'm like, you know, you got a 60 day money back guarantee. Why don't you just give this a try and see if it's a good fit for you. Um, so you're moving. And my little note here is ask for the next step, move to help them get started. So those phases, this helps me when I'm like, okay, I have to work today and I don't feel like it because <laughs> I wake up and I have days that do not feel like it. Um, but I can open up my list. And I can look at these people that I've already prepared for myself that already have phases. So I know where I am with them. 
So I can go, okay, I need to contact Brit Brittany and I'm at the BR and FP. So I'm building the relationship with her still, but I have introduced Plexus to her. So I need to follow up on that. So I'm still building the relationship, which means I need to go in and, you know, see how her son is doing and ask her how her week is going. And then I can move into following up about the Plexus that we talked about. So I'm still building that relationship. And um, so that just, that's so much easier for me to just be able to open up my list, look, where am I? Let me go grab some wording. Let me figure this out. And, and give yourself time when you're, I've, I've stopped um, envisioning my end goal. Like every once in a while, I think about my Lexus and I think about being in Hawaii and I think about going on the stage and being diamond, but I've stopped focusing in on that. And cause you know how they say you're going to have your vision board and you're going to envision the end goal. I've started envisioning the work and that has really helped change my mindset because I'm like, okay, yes, that's what I want. But what is the work that it takes to get there? So, okay, go ahead. Sorry, I forgot to lock my door and I'm being visited. Um, so envisioning the work helps me remember I've got to do this and what I have to do. And uh, I lost my train of thought. Do, 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 do. So when I, when I envision the work, I envision, um, okay, how much time do I have? This is my point. How much time do I have? And remember, when you're looking at your list and you've got, let's say you have a goal of reaching five people and you're looking at the phases, give yourself more time. Okay, I'm going to reach out to five people in 15 minutes. You're not going to reach out to five people in 15 minutes if you want to have solid wording and you want to really build the relationship. It's not going to happen. So give yourself that time. Okay, I want to reach out to five people or three people every single day. I'm going to need probably two hours maybe if, uh, or an hour uh, for five people, maybe an hour and a half for five people, just because you're going to go and you're going to look on their Facebook and you're also going to get interrupted. So you're going to look on your, your, their Facebook. You're going to check out and see what they're doing. You're going to go, okay, I'm building the relationship. Let me talk to them a little bit about that. Or I know it's time to introduce. How do I want to introduce Plexus? How do I want to do this? Where am I? So go, you're going to go in the back office. You're going to look at the wording. You're going to get some ideas. You're going to start jotting a couple of things down. Give yourself some time, probably 10 to 15 minutes per person. So give yourself that time to be able to envision the work and actually do it and do it well. Um, so um, anyway, that's my tip on that, envisioning the work and making that list. You will be. Let's see. Okay. Um, I think that was Andrea's. I think she's still on. Anyway. It's, just, oh, well. it's showing that she's muted and all my kids are in bed. So. Yes. Hello. Hello. I think they keep unmuting her. That's hilarious. Let me see. Okay. There we go. Um, so I have my list and then I just made a really quick uh, March goals for myself just on a piece of paper to where I could just kind of see it uh, and I'm kind of a, a pen to paper kind of person um, so five new contacts a day I want to add three new friends on Facebook um, post plexus once a day I usually post in the evening I read that um, nine o'clock is a good time to post because people are usually scrolling Facebook so I post nine o'clock my time um, that also works with my schedule that I can do that um, and then every three days, every three days, I'm going to follow up with the people I contacted three days ago. So you're constantly in this funnel. You're talking to new people. You're adding new people to your Facebook so that they can see your posts that you're doing every single day. And then every three days, you're going to go back and, contact and follow up with the people that answered you. So you're constantly in this people funnel. And it can get overwhelming. And you can lose track of who you're talking to and what you're doing and where they are in the relationship. So it's nice to have a big list and to know where you are and what phase you're in. But it's also nice to have um, kind of a, a filing system for people as well. 
So a couple of things, I'm still figuring out what works well for me. We've been using an app called Close, C-L-O-Z-E, and it works pretty well. It downloads all of your people, but as, you, as I go through my list, um, so let's take Brady, for example, as I go through my list, I've added Brady into Close, so he's in my system. I have his email address and his Facebook information, and then I can give him a ranking, whether he's a lead, a potential, or he's signed up. And right now he's a potential. So when he when somebody's a potential, they know about the information, they know about Plexus. Um, and he's almost ready to order. Um, so he's in my system. And then I can set up reminders of when to get in contact with him again. So then that pops up on my phone automatically. So I don't forget. So I like clothes. It does cost a little bit. I can't remember how much it costs, but it does keep things organized and sends me the reminders so that people don't get lost in my constant funnel. But a very free, old-fashioned way you could do that is just put in reminders on your calendar. Have your list. As soon as you contact those people, you go to your phone and put in follow-up with so-and-so, so-and-so, and so-and-so, you know, three days later. So that'll, that reminder will pop up on your phone and then you can do it. So that's one way to continually have those people in a funnel to where you're not forgetting to follow up with them. Um, and some people, you might follow up with them, you know, the ones that don't ever answer. Um, so after about two or three tries at the three days each, put them on three months or a month. Start on a month. So, okay, this person's not responding to me at all and I've reached out a lot. So I'm just going to put them on a month and follow back up with them. So I'm just trying to give you guys some ideas because I know as you start adding people and as you start reaching out to people and you've got like five, six, ten conversations going and things start getting really crazy and you start losing people and then you're like, oh yeah, so-and-so never responded or oh yeah, so-and-so asked me a question. This kind of just helps as you give yourself reminders every three days, follow up. Follow up every, at least every three days. You might be following up more than that if people are asking questions and you're like, oh, I really need to answer this person. So um, hopefully that's helpful. I am happy to post those phases. I posted them in the chat before, but I'm happy to post those phases again. And this is like, this is just how my mind works. You know, feel free to come up with your own phases, but just something for where, when you can just grab your list, open it up. I'm gonna contact these five people. I'm not gonna let myself close this list until I contact these people. And this is where I am, so let me just throw in some, okay, I know what wording I need there, and go back to our conversation. What have we been talking about? Okay, this is what I need to say. Um, and then posting. And this is work, this is the nooks and crannies, this is the key. It's contacting, following up, and posting. Contacting, following up, and posting. So we're continuing to build those relationships and continuing to contact and continuing to post. Um, and that's it, guys. It's very, very simple. Really, really hard. <laughs> very simple, but it is, it is a hard, it's hard to do because it takes time. It's a building relationship. You constantly feel like you're explaining yourself. You constantly feel like you're trying to prove something. But change that mindset. Our job is just to share. And I, I like the saying, it's hard sometimes, but I like the saying, you can't say the wrong thing to the right person. And it's true. I mean, I look back at some of the stuff that I shared um, with people and I'm like, I, I can't believe that they, <laughs> that they stayed or that they signed up with some of the stuff I said, you know, I would just throw up on them. So just to be encouraging, you know, it's not... It's, you can't say the wrong thing to the right person. If they're ready, they're ready and they're, they're going to sign up. So um, just keep plugging along. And the ones that don't respond to you and the ones that are taking longer or they show interest or whatever, it's just not their time. Just keep plugging along and keep sharing with them. And don't stop posting. Guys, I can't, I can't tell you how much over the past, past six months to a year that posting has really proven its weight in gold, I guess. It's just proven itself because I've had people come out of the woodwork and just been like, okay, I'm ready now. And these are people that haven't like responded to me in over a year. And I've reached out to them trying to build a relationship. And then all of a sudden I post something that piques their interest. And I mean, that's how, that's why I contacted Jen. I ignored Jen for three months. And then she posted something that caught my eye. And I was like, okay, I'm ready. You know? <laughs> so 
I've been there and I know that that's, that's often how it works. So social media is huge. And I, I love the fact that Plexus calls us sh social networkers um, because it really is what we are. We're social networkers and we are networking and caring about people and on social media. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. Do you have anything to add, Lorraine? I do have a quick question. It's not really related to everything you just said, but you mentioned that Lyme's disease testimony. I have a friend who way back when was she had thyroid issues, was interested in plexus, and then just was like very anti when she found out it was an MLM. Oh, and she's pretty much giving me the cold. Like we were good friends. Oh. She's quite a few years older than I am, but we just always connected well. We saw each other at a lot of Bible conferences around here and we just talked for like hours. It's just how we what our friendship was like and it got like I never treated her any differently but she got so weird her and her husband both towards me for like almost a year and a half and now it's like I feel like we're back to where we were but she's gotten Lyme's disease oh in the past couple years and she's like I haven't seen her in a long time she can't even get out of the house anymore and apparently one of my sister-in-law saw her at a funeral recently and they just said she looks like walking death like she looks awful oh and so when I saw Shoshana's testimony that myth or tony posted today she doesn't mention the limes in there but i know it was limes but when you yes. sent this testimony to your friend did it actually mention limes was it a different one or what are you it's, talking about so shauna posted it on her youtube about six or eight months ago and it's her telling her lyme disease and it says shoshana's lyme disease testimony can you send that to me or i'll just google it no i or can do it youtube too. search it or whatever no too. seriously i just sent it like probably an hour ago. So I will totally send yeah, it. Yeah. Cause I'm like, I, I don't know if she's at the point where she's desperate enough, but I'm at the point where I'm kind of like, I totally related to what you said yep. to your friend, Carol, where it's like, I just care too much not to share this with you, yep. you know? And that and I've actually, I've actually told people that I've cared about enough and I'm desperate enough to see them get started with, with Plexus somehow that I've told them, I don't care if you get it from me. Yeah. You want to go to some stranger to get it, just stink and get it. I haven't said stinking, but you know. <laughs> yeah, just do it. <laughs> yeah, no, sometimes you want to just be like, just shut up and order. <laughs> like, <laughs> For real. Yeah, no, it's it's true. And it comes down to, it's like, look, yeah, I want to be a part of your health journey. I really would love to see this happen and, and be in that journey with you and help you. Because I want to make sure that you get taken care of well and that you, yes. I've got contacts. And so I know people that can help you figure out how you can take your product and blah, blah, blah. But if that's such a big deal, just go order from someone and get started. And, and then when you have no support, come back and I'll still be here. No, exactly. <laughs> right. I know. Seriously. Yeah. So, so you're coming from that perspective. It's huge. It's huge. It's like, I am coming at this with love. I care about you. Yeah. And it's, you know, I've stuck my neck out a, a lot this week and it's just, it's hard. It's hard to stick your neck out there and be like, you might unfriend me. I don't know. Or but, hate me a little bit. Right. Exactly. I'm going to say this anyway, because I sincerely care about you. And when someone doesn't leave your mind, I'm the past few months, especially I'm really trying to listen to my intuition or yeah. God nudgings as I call them. Yes, Sometimes yes. things feel so little, like not even plexus related, but just everything in life. Yeah. And then yeah. if you can't quit thinking about how much you wish you would have done that thing and you didn't do it now, it's too late you for sure, for me, I really should have done that thing, no matter how little it was or how big it was. Yeah. And so I'm just trying to really listen to those nudgings. And it's like, I can't quit thinking about my friend, Deanna. And so when I saw Shoshana's post tonight again, I'm like, okay, Lauren, you really need to yes. find one that talks about it specifically, because that sounds like super vague. Like, why was she dying? Why was she thinking about her you know, not going to her daughter's wedding. Like, yeah, it's intriguing, but to me, that's annoying. I'm not that kind of person. I'm like, give me all the details. Right. You know, so I don't like sending testimonies like that that are too vague, if you want right. to put it that way. But yeah, anyways. no, I, I will totally send that to you. And so, okay, that was my only question. I know I kind of got like totally hung up on that, like way back there, but I did hear the rest <laughs> okay. of what you said. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Okay. I do have one other question about your system. And I like the abbreviations for what each one means because I've tried so many different ways and my notebook gets messy and then I drives me crazy and I just yes. like throw it away and yeah uh, what do you do so basically you do like the calendar reminder or the close thing you don't like write next to your master list a date and when you followed up with you don't I, that doesn't get messy do you make little dots or check marks every time you do something with that person or do you do nothing and you just right. put it in your close thing I have started um 
I have started putting the date, but kind of just for this month. So these are kind of the people I'm running through for the month of March. So I'm putting, I'll put oh, okay. three, three. So I contacted these five people on three, 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 three. Then I did these three, four, three, four. But then as soon as I get them into closed, then I put a C next to it. So I know this person is in closed and that way I know I have my reminder system set in place. So then I can just click into close. What are my reminders for the day? And I'm like, Oh yeah, I need to contact these five people or whatever. Um, okay. so it, it is going to get a little messy, but it gets, le it, it's kind of, it's not too bad because no, then once I, I would always make, close, like, these big notes there yeah. and I'm like, then I just go crazy. Like I've come across so many Plexus notebooks in the past, like, Oh, I know. Months when I was cleaning some things and I was like, oh my word, I didn't even remember that. And I had so many things scattered all over and I'm like, this is just insane. <laughs> right, so. right. Yeah, it's, it's so nice to be able to plug them into a system. And if that, I mean, literally, you could use a, a note on your computer, you know, the electronic note and your calendar to remind you. Yeah, my calendar is, yeah, basically my thing that I just kind of always have fallen back to. But yeah. you just got to do it. Right. Yep. You know. that's, that's what, and give yourself time for that. You know, it comes down to envisioning the work and giving yourself I what you said about that. Let give yourself the time because I think I was doing a big comparing game for a long time and it never really clicked till you were saying that everyone's like, you have 15 minutes to reach out to three people. I'm like, yeah, if you copy and paste the same message, but I've never been that style of a person. I can't right. handle doing that. Right. What if they respond to you and you're like, no, nope, my 15 minutes is up. I got to go. Like, no, I want to have that conversation. You know what I mean? Like, right. seriously. Yes. I got it. I only booked, you know, my 15 minute slot. I got to get back to this and this. No, then I just drive myself crazy. Right. Doing right. That. So no, allow yourself time for quality conversations as they are happening. I yes. really like that. Yeah, that was exactly. really good. Yeah. I agree. So, I think that's it for me. All right. Well, I think, um, zoom is about to kick me off. So I'm still using the free version. So <laughs> It works. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to catch up with you for a minute. And I'm going to go. I know. Me too. I mean, I'm glad to catch up with you, not myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will end. All right, good night. I'll talk to you later. I hope you have a good night. Thanks. You too. All right. Yeah. Bye.